Hello, everybody. Welcome to Story Tree Bedtime. Get ready to hear three wonderful stories, starting with the story of Adilla the Tree Climber. Adilla was the best tree climber in the entire village of Agadir. When the sacred village bird fell from its nest, the king called on Adilla to put the bird back into its nest. As Adilla climbed the tree with the bird in her hand, she heard someone saying bad things about her. Adilla turned to respond, but when she saw the person, she decided not to answer. She continued to climb the tree carefully and the people cheered for her when she dropped the bird in its nest. You do not need to reply to everything that people say, because some people only want to distract you from your goal. The next story is Jolly the Village Jester. Jolly the Village Jester told the best stories, and the people loved to hear his stories when they were bored because it made them laugh a lot. He liked this very much, and he wanted more people to like him, so he began to tell lies. The gods told me that tomorrow there would be lions in the village, said Jolly to the people. Aha! <laughs> that is a lie! The villagers laughed. It is true. He told me that my house would fall, and it did, said another man, but the people did not know that Jolly paid the man to lie to them. Soon people were afraid, and they began running around to gather their animals and children into the house. The next day, no one came out because they were afraid, but the lions did not come. Again, the people gathered to hear Jolly's stories, and he told them that the lions would come the next day. The people hid in their homes the next day, but still, the lions did not come. When people saw Jolly the next day, they were very angry with him, and no one talked to him because he'd lied to them. He was sad and went alone to his house. When Jolly entered his home, he saw a lion hiding in the corner of his house. He began to scream and cry for help, but no one listened to him because they thought he was lying again. Do not lie, because no one would believe you even when you tell the truth. The next story is The Lazy Carpenter Mfon was a lazy carpenter and he did not like to do any work. While other people were working very hard, Mfon would spend all his time sleeping and eating. One day, the king asked Mfon's boss to make him a very good chair for the palace. The boss called all the carpenters together and told them about what the king said. Everyone had lots of work to do, so they began to work very hard. Mfon's job was to polish the chairs when the carpenters finished putting them together. But when he started polishing, he complained very loudly. This work is too hard, said Mfon. The other carpenters were very angry and they shouted at Mfon because his work was very easy and he was complaining so much. When the king saw the chair, he was not too happy with the polish, and so he punished Mufan for doing a bad job. Always do your work in the very best way. Thank you for listening to the stories. See you again next time.